Okay, thank you um, so much and good afternoon again, uh, colleagues. Uh, my name is Zodo Zigalala. I'm the Brand and Marketing Manager uh, for Richards Bay Industrial Development Zone. And today we are very excited to have Mr. Donovan Matala, as the, who is the Project Director of the Wilma Processing SA. And um, Wilma is a 1.1 billion uh, palm oil refinery facility that is under construction at the Richards Bay Industrial Development Zone. Thank you again, Mr. Matlala, for joining us today and welcome. Thank you. Um, yeah, firstly, um, as the project director of um, Wilma Processing SA, can you briefly tell us about the project Palm Oil Refinery? What does this mean um, to a lay person out there who, who would want to benefit from this project? Okay, so basically the, the Palm Oil uh, Refinery, we, we, we normally call it edible, edible oil refinery because we, can, we, we basically process vegetable oil. Okay. Um, yeah, so it will be a 500 tons per day refinery. And basically the main uh, objective is to process palm oil, as you've already mentioned. But we will also look at some softwares and, and in particular sunflower. So we have made provision to also uh, process sunflower in our second phase of the project. And... Uh, you know, currently South Africa is importing about 500,000 tons of palm oil per annum. And that shows you the demand. Unfortunately, we're not producing palms in this country um, mm. because of climatic conditions. Uh, they are normally imported from Asia, you know, West Africa. That's where the palms are growing. And uh, so South Africa is an importer of palm oil. And so when we saw the gap in the market, we decided also to put up a refinery to process some of the uh, palm oil and create jobs for our people and basically contribute meaningfully to the economy. So basically we will be producing cooking oil, you know, okay. and there is more, yeah. So palm oil basically can be used, especially for uh, deep fry. You know, some people would come very mm, olive oil. Mm. Olive okay. oil is healthy, is good, uh, but you know when you want to fry food, it's not a good oil; it gets bent. So palm oil can be used at very high temperatures, and you know for frying, deep frying, and all that. And it has got many applications as well. It's also used in salads, uh, production of margarine, um, you know mayonnaise. We also use it in uh, uh, detergents you know, in producing mm. foods that the waxes can also be used for candles and also in ice cream. So it has got very uh, various applications. And mm. that's why the demand keeps on growing. So we will be better, Yeah, we will be better placed really to, uh, to, to basically occupy that gap in the market and, and basically supply our local uh, industry with this uh, material. The, mm, that's great. The, the interesting thing, though, is the contribution that the project brings uh, to the local community. Uh, given the high un unemployment rate in our country, and especially in KZN, uh, this project will also create, uh, you know, employment opportunities, but also the other business opportunities that it basically it offers. Uh, for instance, on the transportation side, you know, the finished products will have to be distributed to Durban, Eastern Cape, and we're also looking at Cape Town, you know, so there is an opportunity. We've got opportunity also for packaging of our products, you know, okay. uh, you know, somebody could come in and basically close that gap as well and provide packaging for us as well. And, you know, and all the various materials that are used, for instance, so we will be bottling uh, the product. So somebody could be making that bottle for us. Uh, you know, there's other opportunities as well. And, you know, we, when we look at sunflower, um, South Africa, again, is not, uh, it is a net importer of soft oil, sunflower and mm -hmm. soy so it have been oils. We still import about 200,000, 250,000 tons of soft oils. And if, you know, our government can encourage local farmers to produce sunflower seeds, you know, then we don't have to go 
uh, you know, overseas to basically import the material, but it can be processed locally. And then mm. we, will, we will be able to use that oil in our facility to refine it and produce uh, the cooking oils. You know? mm. okay. That sounds very great. And that uh, actually what I'm picking is that um, the opportunities may not necessarily be only um, on what on the jobs, on the people that will be working at Wilma. Yes. But, yes. you know, the, there's a number of other opportunities for people that need to supply you with packaging and all of those things. And for me, that that is very great, actually, also for the SMMEs that can benefit from those opportunities. Exactly, exactly. A case in point, uh, Zoto, is the pipeline. So the oil will mm. come from the pipeline, and okay. the, basically the, 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 the ship will, 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 will dock at the Richards Bay port, and mm. then from there it will be pumped via the pipeline to Wilma. But Wilma is not going to be operating that pipeline. So okay. Transnet will get operators or TPT will appoint operators to do it on Wilma's behalf. Again, okay. creating opportunities. You, you know, know yeah. yeah. So that, that's also one of the examples that, that, that I can give. But also we have opportunities, you know, for maintenance, uh, given that we will be having a refinery and all the various areas in the refinery. So there will be opportunities for maintenance. So maintenance contractors, uh, you know, uh, opportunities to supply equipment to the plant, opportunities to supply chemicals to the plant, our raw materials. So if outside the palm oil, we can get everything locally, that, that would be good for, for uh, Richards Bay and the surrounding areas. Great. No, thank you so much, uh, Don. I think um, really it's it, one cannot wait to see the project start hitting the ground and start seeing these opportunities because also with the, the, the issues of COVID-19, people are sitting at home and looking yes. for these opportunities. Yes. And this is just a great example of what is to come in terms yes. of recovering with um, our, our economy. Look, um, in your view, what would you say has been the support um, from the Richards Bay IDZ and how has that assisted Wilma in establishing itself as the local advocating entity? Thank you. So, you know, Coming to Richards Bay, we did not know the area very well. That's mm. number one. We, we did not even understand the challenges in the communities. Uh, but go, coming here through RBIDZ has actually empowered us and helped us to bring our project to the stage where it is right now. And, uh, you know, there are many stakeholders in the area. And if you come mm. blindly, uh, you know, you could be disappointed. But through IDZ, we were able to identify all the stakeholders and to have some sort of engagement with the stakeholders. And, mm. you know, creating awareness about the project and opportunities that it brings, but also hearing from our stakeholders, what are the things that are important to them and mm. what would basically satisfy them in terms of how the project is ex executed. You know, once we understood this, we could then plan our, our execution strategy for, for the project, which has helped us a lot. Um, we continue to have regular engagements uh, with the various forums. And, you know, it's helping our project because to this uh, day, we have mm. only had two interactions. You know, that is two days that has been lost since last year when we started with the project. So which I think was very good for the project. And uh, mm. IDZ has also helped us in terms of getting approvals, the various approvals and permits that are required for the project of the size. Okay. And, uh, you know, basically uh, uh, engaging with the various departments of, of government and helping us with follow-ups. Um, you know, for instance, the water use license, mm. um, the way leave agreements that we negotiated with Transnet, um, you know, the water, uh, the effluent water discharge, mm. uh, which was also negotiated with the water. So this is just to mention a few, but the IDZ has basically held us by the hand and walked us through the whole process and until we got all the uh, permits that are required to basically run the operations um, in this area. Great. No, thank you so much. I think 
partly you have covered the, the next question that I was going to ask in terms of how has aligning with RPI, does it help your vision of providing and supplying um, yeah. uh, and providing a supply chain that is responsible and sustainable? But mm-hmm. I think partly um, that would have been covered. Maybe I can just, uh, the, the, that question, I will mix it with the next, which says, what would you say are some of the benefits of investing within the RPI to that you can summarize yeah. and maybe respond to the one also that is talking to how it has helped your vision? Okay. So, you, you know, the, the benefits of, of working through RPI is that, like I said, I mean, we, we mm. did not know anything about this area. And yeah. you could have come in here blindly and be disappointed because there are many challenges, I must say, as well. Uh, mm. in this area uh, but because of the support that we get uh, from RBIDZ and we continue to get that support even after this engagement we have a, a meeting with I, I, RBIDZ to discuss other issues mm-hmm. uh, but, but you know the benefit one of them is you know one is a tax benefit um, as an operator or as an as a tenant in the IDZ area, mm. uh, we will also qualify for, for tax benefits where our tax is about 15%, um, you know, which is much mm. lower than your normal company tax. And then okay. there are also in, incentives, you know, for in, investing in infrastructure projects. And mm. this, again, were brought to our attention by IDZ you know, where we could go to DTI and apply for some of these uh, incentives that are available. And it gives me great pleasure to basically uh, inform you that we have also been awarded, uh, you know, a 12i tax uh, allowance incentive by DTI, okay. which is a huge amount as well. It is, uh, yeah. And yeah, great for, so, the, for the for the for the for the for the for the you know for the capital of your project that you are investing. It, in yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. It does. It, it it helps. It goes a, a long way. You know. Yeah. So those are some of the benefits. For instance, we will be importing uh, palm oil. So SARS uh, basically also grants us other benefits where we can get rebates for our uh, imports. You know. Mm. And, mm. and IBZ has also helped us to make application. Uh, you know, uh, to, uh, to start or, or okay. for, this, uh, for these reasons. So, so I think there are many advantages. It makes it very easy and the area in which we are investing is also safe and it's also a beautiful site as well. Mm. I must mention. So yeah, I think those are some of the benefits I, I can mention. Thank you. No, that's a, that's a great one. And, and I very much appreciate it. Winding to the close, um, would you recommend for companies to invest with the Richest Bay IDZ and why? Uh, definitely. I, I think you have nothing to lose, but more to gain. Mm. And it's okay. also important to know that your investment is secure. You know, and I think yeah. that is, is, a, is, a, is, a, is a place to go if, if that's what you want. Oh, great. Thank you so much. Um, okay, Don, uh, I think lastly, um, would you be able to tell us what is it that makes Wilma Processing SA one of the best in the field of uh, your, your projects in what you are doing? Yeah, one of the largest uh, oil producing company. Uh, okay. Also, I think we are number one in the production of sugar in China. and. Oh, and wow. right. Yeah, and I think the rice as well is probably number three in the world. And uh, we have huge plantations all over the world. I think we are in 17 countries in Africa. You know, mm. yeah. So Wilma is quite a big corporation. We are in China, we are in uh, Europe, we are in South America, uh, we are in Africa, we are in India. So we are a, really a global player. Mm, great. Thank you so much, Donovan. And I think really it it it, it gives us, you know that hope and we are looking forward to seeing and also I think one thing uh, about Wilma is that they are one of the Fortune 500 companies and yes, for yes, me that yes. makes it a you know it's a huge yes. it's a plus for the ITZ to have attracted such big um, organization. we really are wishing you all, all of the best with uh, the Wilma team with the project that is underway and looking forward to, uh, to its commissioning which I think is projected for some time next year around this time next year hey 
uh, unfortunately, yes, initially that was our plan, Zotra, but due to COVID and delays as a result of uh, COVID, uh, it has been shifted to March 2023. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. No, no, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Pleasure.